Less than two months from the Las Vegas Grand Prix and F1 organizers continue to work to bring it all together. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Joe Muller. And I'm Trisha Keen. But with the big race comes lots of construction and lots of changes. Ryan Ketchum made a trip to the strip and shows us how it's shifting. The biggest change that many people are seeing is that this walkway right here in front of the Bellagio is completely closed, meaning no easy access to see the fountains. It's not fair and I feel like they should have waited a while to start this construction so that the people that are coming here can enjoy the actual experience of Vegas. Karen Ritter and her husband Brian are in Las Vegas for the Raiders first home game of the season this Sunday. But Karen says even just trying to walk around the strip is tough and the construction is an eyesore. Like the, everything's shut down right here and like you're looking over there and all you see is like metal everywhere and you see orange pylons all over the place. It's kind of not what Vegas is about. You come here for glamour and this is a mess. To get around the walkway closure, you have to cross the street before the Bellagio on the south side or use the pedestrian bridge connected to the casino on the north side. But that's not the only F1 construction adjustment to the strip. Crews are working on paving the track, adding lighting, placing track barriers, working on the stands, and also creating vehicle bridges, all causing major traffic delays and causing the strip to look somewhat unfamiliar. Despite the construction and traffic, some say they can't wait to see what it looks like after they're done. As unfortunate as it is, I think it, you know, we're bringing more industry to Vegas. You know, it sounds like some cool stuff's going on. It's hard not to be supportive of it. I mean, it, it, like I told her, you can't put up the lights, you can't put up the grandstands, you can't do it overnight. So it's going to take some time. Formula One drivers will be zooming through Las Vegas between November 16th and the 18th. But if you plan to drive on the strip anytime before then, you can get the latest on all race preparation road closures on our website, ktnv.com. Reporting from the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Ryan Ketchum.